Under provincial rules, MLAs in Manitoba have 30 days to disclose property sales. Early last year, Heather Stephenson said she took longer than that to file paperwork about the sales of three Winnipeg properties. They were sold by McDonald Grain, a company that listed Stephenson as a director. She apologized for the late disclosure in January 2022, but Manitoba Liberal leader Dougald Lamont took her to court in May. He wants a judge to decide whether Stephenson violated Manitoba's Conflict of Interest Act. In an affidavit filed in November, the Premier said the late filing was an oversight. She said, I simply did not direct my mind to whether the Act required a special filing in respect of this disposition. Any failure to comply with the Act was inadvertent. Lamont says that's not good enough. Manitobans should know when their MLAs are getting $30 million, or doing $30 million deals, uh, especially when they're the future Premier, and just saying, well, I made a mistake or it was inadvertent isn't good enough. In a new legal brief, Lamont identifies the penalty he wants for Stephenson. Lamont wants the Premier suspended from the legislature for 90 days. He also wants her to pay a $5,000 fine. Political scientist Paul Thomas called a suspension of a sitting Premier a nuclear option. Lamont says a suspension isn't even the maximum penalty for violating the Conflict of Interest Act. This is one of the only laws in Manitoba around conflict where an MLA can be removed from their seat. That's how serious it is. So if you can't be bothered to do something which is going to lose you your job, that to me is a problem. In a statement, the Premier says her government is strengthening conflict of interest rules and she stands by her affidavit. The court hearing over Lamont's conflict of interest complaint is slated for two Mondays from now on February 13th. Bartley Kivas, CBC News, Winnipeg.